Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to be replacing this Schneider inverter. Uh, this is a Schneider XW Pro that we've been having a lot of issues with. Um, and Schneider says those are normal, so uh, and the customer is not happy. So we're going to be replacing this um, it's XW Pro with a uh, Fortress Evolt battery. And this is really just used for battery backup. Um, it's, you know, it's really not run a lot, um, but they do get frequent power outages here. Um, so we're gonna be uh, replacing this with a Solark 12K. And I just wanna be clear here that I did not do the original install. So all the work that you're seeing here is not my doing. how there's that piece in between and then they took a little notch out of here yep so the what they do is they run full power through here and the higher the amperage the higher the voltage drop from there to there okay so they know that this is a this is you know so say for a hundred amps the voltage drop will be like 0 0.02 or something okay. but they know that and it's a calibrated number so they can tell the exact amperage that's going through here based on the voltage between those two the voltage drop between those two okay. um, so that's how a shunt works so it's basically a really accurate way of measuring how much power is going through a circuit um, yeah it's, it's on there Go wrap the truck with it or what? Go wherever you want with it. Okay. Okay. All right. Blank slate. Still not too pretty there. Uh, so what we have here is we have the this is the feed going up and over, and this is feeding the transfer switch, and then the transfer switch is feeding their protected loads panel during normal operation. So once the grid goes down, the transfer switch switches over to this feed right here, uh, which is, uh, it basically, this is the generator. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the Solark opened up and get her on the wall. So this is the new 12K. I have not yet done one of these. This is the outdoor rated version. Mounting bracket. Look at that. We got, we got the temp sensor, a couple of cotter pins, and a plastic dead front here. There it is. Oh, that's the manual. Oh, she's a beauty. He's a beauty. You gotta have two levels when you're running onto it. Never. I was just supposed to know if you're level and square, man. Oh. Alright. Ready, Steven? Hey, ready. Uh, I'll help you. Things up, I put them down. Over the left, there you go. Right there. Oh, no, right, right. Alright, it sticks out. Over the right, there you go. Oh, yeah, right there. Perfect. 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 That's way lighter than the other one. Oh, yeah. Alright, so inside, this, so this is the 3R version of the 12K. 
Uh, first time I've worked with this. Um, so on the on the older version of the 12K, the indoor version, um, they had two one inch knockouts over here. Uh, and then I believe there was one more one inch here and then the rest of them were three quarter. Um, so what they've done is they've made these all one inch knockouts uh, with the exception of one three quarter inch over here that I probably just won't even use. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and they've also given you a little bit more room inside the junction box, which is really nice. Um, you do still have to make sure that you put your battery uh, positive and negative into their respective terminals here so you can just come straight up and land on the uh on the terminals there um but yeah otherwise good job solar So hooking up the AC side, we have our grid in right here, load out, and then our common neutral and common ground. And it's very important uh, with six gauge, eight gauge, uh, any any big stranded wire. Now, when you go to tighten it, just tighten it up, wiggle the wire, tighten it up again. Uh, that allows the, the strands to kind of flatten out and everything, and you'll get a little bit more out of that. Um, proper torque is also important. Um, and so that's that, and now we're going to hook up the DC side. So I didn't film hooking up the battery cables just because we were all kind of in one space at the same time and it wouldn't have been a good shot. So here we go, they're all hooked up. I ended up using Greenfield Flex this time, um, just because I didn't like the way it was done last time with no protection around the, uh, the battery cables. Also got the ferrite beads on. I was uh, had to kind of bring this uh, positive wire around so we could get them both together like Solark says to do. Um, and then the cap will go on here and cover this all up. All right, so we got the dead front on here. This is just a thin piece of plastic, clear, so you can see what's in there. We got the temp sensor in. I'm just gonna use that for monitoring the uh, room temperature. Um, so there, we're good to go. The Wi-Fi dongle. Is over on this side and the bottom is completely flat so that's a real nice way of doing it all right so now we got the battery charging and we're going at it's charging at 5.29 kW and then down on the fortress e vault See, it's putting in about 123 amps, 124 amps, 94.7%. So the way we hooked up this uh, Generac transfer switch um, is during normal operation, normal grid tied operation, uh, the Solark and the battery and everything are bypassed on the load side. So they go into the generator input um, and then we also used a relay and a power supply. Uh, so when the, uh, when the transfer switch loses grid power, it needs something to tell it to trip. Um, so it, it does that with a 12 volt signal. Um, so when we lose grid power, the transfer switch trips and flips over to uh, generator input. And then that powers our protected loads panel over here. Alrighty, so we got the install done, Solarx up and running. We just got the, uh, the firmware updated on it and just running everything on it. That's the noise you hear in the background, it's a heat gun. Uh, so we're just running it through its paces, making sure everything works properly. Uh, we do also have AC coupled solar on this, um, so making sure that works. And uh, gonna be wrapping up here real soon. Alrighty, so that's a wrap. Uh, got this uh, Schneider inverter replaced with a Solarx 12K. Got an E-Vault battery down here. Good to go.
This is why I love Solark. It's so easy.